I'm from Fitness for Changes, and I'm bringing you guys another video. Now I know I haven't posted one in a little in quite some time. It's the reason I haven't done so is because I've been pretty sick lately for like the past two weeks, and I haven't been able to work out. I mean, I could have, but you know, I wouldn't have. Would have been wasted energy and whatnot. Because I mean, I don't perform on my best when I'm sick, and that would just lead to being sick longer. So I decided I'll take the time off and you know try to get better before starting again. Okay, so anyway, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly <coughs> uh, how to get better at chin-ups. Now, this is something that I wish I knew before starting Body Beast, or actually, I found this on myself. Like, it wasn't in Body Beast, I just figured this out. And I'm just going to try to share my knowledge with you guys. And, yeah, help you guys out. Okay, so enjoy. We'll see you again once I'm at the area where I do chin-ups. Okay guys, so yeah, I tried checking out the area that I would normally do chin-ups in my basement, in the back room, but it's pretty noisy now, so I'll figure, I'll just show you guys it in my room. It's, I have a chin-up bar up here too, one of those, um, <coughs> one of those removable ones and whatever, so the door frame, it's right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get better at chin-ups. This is what worked for me, and I w I wish I knew this before I started working out. I, sh I, I just learned this on my own, so, and that's very helpful to me. Okay, I'll show you guys right now. <clears throat> okay, so, to get better at chin-ups, this is going to work for pretty much anything, I guess. And I'd focus on more for chin-ups, like, rather than, like, bicep curls or whatever, because you just got to work out for those to get better at. So, to get better at chin-ups, you want to, first of all, put your chin-up bar in a, in a very common area that you're going to go through a lot. So, I have in my back room, because whenever I go down there, if I want to go to the refrigerator or, or, like, get my towels or whatever, I will go down there and... Yeah, it's very common that I'll, it's a common place that I'll go to. So, okay, so this is my room. It's not as common. I don't go here super a lot. Like, I won't go in and out, whatever. I don't stay in my room lots. So, anyway, this is just going to work for you guys. So, you want to, first of all, for working on your back, I guess you would want to work on more so. So, you do wide grip. So, you can really focus on your lats right here. And, so to get better at them, first of all, you need a set, you gotta pick, like, if you can only do eight reps, focus on doing two per time. This is gonna make sense as I just explain a little bit more. So, whenever you go into the area, and say it's my room, I will do, say I can only do two chin ups, or so, two, yeah, so, or two, I guess, wide grip pull ups, whatever, it doesn't matter. You go down, go one, Two. You really gotta focus on the negatives. This is tips for like everyone. Some people just do like say bicep curls even when they curl up and they go slow. You gotta just keep slow. Some people just rush it and they think you're gonna go good. You gotta focus on the contraction. That's what's really gonna get you stronger. It's gonna make the muscle fibers work really hard or break down or whatever, and then it'll re rebuild. Okay. So before starting my working out. I could do about eight chin-ups or eight chin-ups, yeah. And for wide grip, I could only do about one. So, and now I can do about 15 uh, chin-ups and about maybe about eight wide grip. I don't know. So, I, as I haven't worked out in quite a while, I'm a little weaker right now. So, but still, I'm still looking pretty good. I think for. Whatever. My results are doing really good. And I'm going to start working out again today. It's chest workout. But anyway, that's a little off topic. So as I mentioned earlier, yeah. If you can do, like how I said, eight. If you can do a max of eight reps, do two wherever throughout the day. Or do four or whatever throughout the day. Just pick a certain amount of reps. And you got to be strict on yourself. You can't. Some people will just say, like, um... 
they go into the room, I guess, in my case, go into the room, and then they will say, I, I don't want to set it up today. I don't want to, I don't want to do anything too. I'm too lazy. You got to stop making excuses. You got to do it. So I come in here, go down, up, and down. Up, and down. Okay? So, yeah, this is going to help you guys out, hopefully. And, yeah, so I'm just going to give you another example quickly. If you can do 15 pull-ups, it's still going to work for you. You come here, you got to pick another number. Maybe it's 8 this time. Maybe it's, I don't know, 6. It doesn't matter. 15 even. I don't know. Depending on how strong you are to do your maximum rep. You got to pick a number, set it, and, yeah, force yourself to do it every time. If you can't do it, um, if you can't do chefs. Okay, so guys, yeah, my video ended early just because of lack of memory in my camera. I should have really checked that out before making it. But yeah, as I was mentioning, I guess at the end, if you can't do chin ups, use a stool. It can be hot, the higher the better. I mean, if it's like, I don't know, unrealistic height, then it's not going to work. But you want it around probably maybe about your waist or so, maybe about here, I don't know, about your belly button height. It doesn't matter. But you want to put your foot on it or whatever, and you want to use, you really want to focus on your back, you don't want to focus on your arms, your biceps, you're focusing on your back, I mean, if you're doing champs, you're focusing on your biceps, as obviously, but, yeah, you don't, so you put it on there, this is pretty low, but, I'll just give you an example, so you go down, you go up, focus on contraction, slow down, up, slow down, so, yeah, hope you get this helped you guys out. Give this video a like if it if you liked it and it helped you out. Comment down below if you have any questions or whatever. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't because I'll be posting videos regularly. And see you guys next time. Merry Christmas.